Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Akhil Aiman Mak Faizul 2545 and right now what to explain about my question number 1. So this question asked me to design a single land game and explain it. So uh, for the system, bus system, we have associated with 4 quantities which are the voltage magnitude, the phase angle of the voltage, active power and also the active power. So one of the bus I select is a slate bus. Slate bus is known as actually a generator bus but then it was chosen to ref to act as a reference for the whole system so it have a fixed value and the voltage magnitude is 1 with the angle is 0 so that is the fixed value throughout the system and second one is a PV bus or generator bus all the generator bus is connected to this bus and also it have a fixed active power and also voltage magnitude uh, which I stated in the answer scheme and finally we have a PQ bus or the load bus so this load bus also have a P and also Q value as stated in the answer lah. So I also add the shunt capacitor in the log bus because I believe the shunt capacitor can improve the power factor where sometimes we have an inductive load connected to the system which maybe it can lack the load current because of the power factor lags. So to compensate this problem, uh, we have choose the shunt capacitor to connect to this log bus. And also of a, each of these bus is uh, connected with a transmission line we have where, where the transmission line have a dif uh, difference values of impedance and also I choose uh, 100 MVA as a base and power and simultaneously at the generator end 11 kV is selected as a voltage bus voltage base so the circuit, the circuit breaker also are at in this appropriate point of the system but then to 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 proper isolate of this equipment lah but I will talk more about this in question number 3 ok for question number 2 first uh, this is the uh, diagram for the included of the uh, for impedance so the scenario uh, I have to assume the fault uh, for dividend is 0 0.11 J 0 0.11 PU and also it has grounded with 100 MV and also 11 kV that I spent here it also have a 3 sequence impedance with positive, negative and 0 as stated in the answer. So first we need to find the best impedance where the uh, where the this best impedance can be used to find the per unit value of each of uh, sequence of impedance. So because we want to use this uh, value, per unit value to be able to plug in into the current in phase A for the positive, negative and also 0 sequence. After we found these three uh, components, we can find the rest of the phase component by by with the help of the alpha operator here. So, after we got IA, IB and IC, we can find the uh, phase for the current by uh, multiplying the per unit value with the base current that we find here. Same procedure also need to do to for the voltage of the healthy phase but the voltage we have a different uh, formula here so we have a for the positive negative and also zero sequence and after we found each of the components we can use this formula to find the voltage of the healthy phase to find the same scenario but without the uh, for impedance we just change uh, the formula for the IA I1, I2 and I3 here, I0 here where we, we do not need to include the ZF in the formula so the same procedure after we find these three components we can find the the fault current for the each of the phase and then after we find this we can find the actual fault current by multiplying with the base current same also for the voltage we use the same procedure but with the different value of IA that we put here so we find the, the with the same procedure we can find the voltage of the healthy phase to solve question number three first uh, I draw this diagram that I propose in question number one then I, I assume the uh, flat setting for OCN also EF and I also assume the for three phase current three phase for current and also single phase for current for this system so for the first path uh, from the uh, relay A, B, C and also D this is the calculation for the time and also TMS 
so I need to find so first I assume for the TMS for this first A for relay A and then uh, I need to find the T for the relay B so so I, I can find the the settings for the relay within the same um, feeders and so for the uh, within two feeders I need to uh, set up the T which is the previous that we, I got I need to subtract with 0 0.4 to get the new TMS for the C and also uh, use the same TMS to find the T for the D so the earlier solution is for the calculation for the OC relay so for the EF relay this is the calculation for the same relay B, C, also D for path number 2 which is from the relay F to relay E the same procedure was applied 